Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about editing and grouping objects in our timeline. So if you will, please scroll down and open up Step 11 Groups. And I will go ahead and hide my data panel. And let's look at the timeline at the bottom of our screen. We can see all of our features here on the timeline, and it is representing the entire chronological order of our build. I can go to here and play my timeline, and it will show me every step of building this lamp. This can sometimes be fun to do when looking at how your model was built. In our next workshop, we will talk about editing features in our timeline, which is part of Fusion's parametric design properties. But for now, we can see that we can simply drag our timeline anywhere in between our features to see what a still snapshot of that part of our design looks like. However, when working in larger projects, the timeline can sometimes run off the side of the screen. In order to keep our timeline organized, we can utilize groups. How do we know which features in our timeline reference which features in our model? Well, if you hover over a feature, you will see the impacted geometry highlight in a dark color. Also, if we go to Inspect Component Color Cycling Toggle, this applies a color to each component in our model. Now I can see that all of these features reference the base. These features reference the arm. These features reference my lampshade arm, and so on. You can see that we have groups in our model already which reference multiple features in our model. These were automatically created when we imported and broke the links of our fastener assemblies. Let's go to the timeline and begin to create some groups. I can see that one group will be from this base component creation all the way to this fillet. So with the shift key held down, I will select this feature and this feature to select all features in between. I can now go right click, create group, and we can see that those features have now been collapsed into a group that we can expand by hitting the plus icon and collapse by hitting the minus icon. Let's continue creating groups throughout our model. I will create a group that goes from here to here, which includes our lampshade arms. Next, I'll create a group that goes from here to here, which is our arm assembly and lampshade arm. I'll select all of my joints and create a group. And you'll notice that if I try to select a group and other features, I cannot create a nested group. The Fusion timeline only allows a feature to be in one group. So I will have to select these three items right click create group and then I can continue. I'll select these joints and features and select my entire lampshade and finally these three joints. This rigid group is all alone so I can include it in this lampshade group. I first need to right click delete and we will see this group delete option. I can either delete the group and expand its contents, delete both the group and its contents, or cancel. I will delete the group and expand its contents to keep all features in the model. Now I can include that rigid group, right click, create group, and our timeline is now well organized into a series of small groups that I can hover over to see which features they apply to and expand them as I need. Using groups in your timeline keeps your timeline short and concise, and using component color cycling 
to help understand which features went to which component is a useful workflow when working in large projects. I will go inspect and turn off component color cycling and save my file. We can see that there is one more step and this is simply the final step which I provided to make sure that your file looks like our file at the end of the progress if you worked alongside. If you open up that file and hide your data panel, you will see our lamp with the appropriate joints, our timeline will have all of the groups, and we can edit our lamp and move it into a different position as we need. Feel free to experiment by placing the light bulb in your file and using a joint to place it in the socket. I hope you enjoyed this Fusion 360 workshop and you can find more like it at vdci.edu.